Hey guys, and long time no see. I'm really sorry I haven't posted for quite a while, but I'm back now. So today's video is going to be on beauty, but it's a little different. I'm going to be trying to make like a bath bomb, like a homemade bath bomb. So this I'm just testing. It's just kind of an experiment. I have no idea if it'll work or not. I've saw quite a lot of tutorials on YouTube, but I have never tried it myself. So here we go. Okay, so for my bath bomb, I want it to be purple, so I'm going to do one dot of blue and two of red. I'm kind of just guessing. I kind of want it to be more of a redder purple, if that makes sense. And then I'm going to put some baking soda in it. I think it's about just two tables, or sorry, teaspoons. Now you're going to take something and stir it. Okay, so I've been stirring it, and it's not looking like purple at all it's just like the blue and the red haven't mixed very good so I'm gonna try a different color so this time I'm going to try to make lime green instead because I think that would be really pretty like that so I'm just gonna repeat the same steps and put two teaspoons of baking soda in there and this is just to make a small mini bath bomb Okay, so this is working much better. I'm going to add a couple more drops of yellow because it's kind of a darker green. Okay, so it's definitely a really pretty green and I like that color. So I'm going to move forward on the steps. So it's powdery still. So I'm going to add um, just like a drop of water. Okay, so I just added the dots of water and that's really cool how it became like white where I added the drops. So I added about two drops so I'm going to stir that up. Okay, so it's not as powdery as it was before, but I still think I need like two more drops of water. Okay, so I added a few more drops and I'm going to stir that. Okay, so I got the perfect consistency. So now I just have to put it in like a mold that I want it to be like shaped in when it's done. So I'm just going to use this orange lid and kind of just dump it in. Then they said just to press it down, which I did, and put it in either the freezer or the refrigerator for about 30 minutes. Okay, so it's been about half an hour, and I let this sit in the freezer. Because if you did it in the refrigerator, it would take about an hour, so I didn't want that. So, yeah, it looks ready. Okay, so now I'm supposed to just um, take it out, like pop it out. Okay, so I just popped it out, and it actually was really easy. I just kind of hit it a little bit, and it popped right out. There were a few broken edges, as you can see that. But, yeah, time for the test now. Because the bath bomb I made was a, like, mini one, as you can see, it's, like, really tiny, I'm just going to fill up my sink instead of a bathtub. But this is just a test run, so if it works, then I'll try a bathtub next time. Okay, here we go. And it's not supposed to fizz, really. I mean, I can't. It is, but it doesn't fizz too much. Because there's not, like, tons of chemicals in it. It's just, like, I don't know, normal. Just, like, um, it's just supposed to turn the water a color and just play with it. But it's not supposed to, like, fizz. But, wow, that dissolved really quickly. And look at that. It turned my water green. It's really, really pretty. But, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, it was definitely a success. So next time, if you want me to do another bath bomb, just comment down below. Bye, guys.